Hello friends, welcome to Ansys Tutor. In this tutorial, we are going to analyze how to find out entropy in a 2D heat exchanger. For this, we are going to create a 2D heat exchanger geometry in Ansys Design Modeler. Select the analysis type as 2D, right click on geometry and select new design modeler geometry. Now go to units and change it to millimeter. Select the XY plane. Click on the axis and draw a rectangle. Now put the dimensions. Put the horizontal dimensions as 500 mm and vertical dimension as 50 mm. Length is 10 times than the width. And go to concept tab and change it to surface from sketches. Select the sketch and click on apply. Then click on generate. It's the 2D geometry. Now go for meshing. Right click on this mesh. Select the sizing option. Choose the adaptive sizing option and the resolution up to 7. Select the element size as 0.002 meter. Right click on the mesh and click on generate mesh. Now we are going to add a face sizing so that there would, there would be a mapped face missing. Select the face and click on apply. Then generate the mesh. Mapped face missing has been generated. Now we are going to name the various boundaries. Name it as inlet boundary. Click on OK. Select this end and name it as outlet. Select the top edge and name it as top wall. Select the bottom edge and name it as bottom wall. Now check if all the name selection has been assigned properly or not. Now right click on the mesh and click on generate mesh. Click on update. Mesh has been linked with the fluent solver. Now close the meshing and open the fluent setup. Select the double precision model, then click on start. Now go to models. Turn on the energy equation. Go to viscous model. And select laminar flow model. Click on OK. Keep the default air as the material. Now go to boundary conditions. Select the inlet boundary. Put the in velocity magnitude as 0.5 meter per second. And the inlet temperature is 350 Kelvin. Click on apply then close. Keep the default outlet pressure outlet boundary condition for outlet. Select the bottom wall. Put the temperature of 300 Kelvin on the bottom wall and as well as on the top wall. Similarly in top wall Select the, select the temperature as 300 Kelvin, click on apply then close. Now 
Now go to methods. Select the simplex method. Select green grass cell waste method. Discretization. Now go to monitors. Select residuals. Decrease the residuals up to 10 to the power minus 6 for a better accuracy of the results. Click on OK. Now go to initialization and do the hybrid initialization. Click on initialize. After initialization is complete, go to calculation page. Enter the number of iterations up to 500. Then click on calculate. Iteration process has been started. Calculation is complete. Now we are going to see the entropy results. For this go to graphics window, select the contours. Select the contours of temperature and the drop down select entropy. Now click on save display. This is the entropy variations in this domain. Select the camera icon to save this picture. Select the JPG option and select the size of this image as 4K. Click the white background option, select the path where you want to save and click on save. Close this one. Now close the fluent and proceed for CFD post processing results analysis in the CFD post. Open the CFD post processing. Results, insert a contour, select the location as the symmetry 1 and the variable as temperature, select the range as local range and number of contours as 100, then click on apply. This is the temperature contour. Temperature variations along this heat exchanger. We can save this contour image. Similarly, get the contours of the velocity. Save the image of this. Velocity contours. Now we are going to insert a streamline. Select the sur select the surface streamline option and select the symmetry one as the surface. Then click on apply. This is the surface streamline. Save this image. Insert a new line as location. We are going to draw this line at the middle. Select the starting point and ending point of this line. y is 0 0.025 as the total length is 0.5 so put the y value as 0 0.025 as the starting point and ending point. And click on apply. This is the line. Now we are going to insert a chart to see the variations along this line. Go to data series tab, select the line as the location. In the x axis, select 
x axis select the length and the y axis select the temperature. This is the temperature variations along this midline. Now increase the number of samples up to 200 to see a better variations of these results. Similarly, we are going to see the variations of velocity along this line. So, select the variable as velocity, then click on apply. Now, velocity is varying from 0.5 to 0.6 to save this image. With this, let us conclude this demonstration. If you have any doubt, then please comment below. Subscribe to our channel if you are new. Keep learning and keep exploring. Thank you.